Hi, my name is Charlotte. I have a lot of interests and hobbies, but one of my favorite things to study is music. Today I'm going to demonstrate some musical concepts for my robot to see how it reacts. Hey, ACD2, do you want to learn something cool? Do you remember the major scale from earlier? Did you know that all major scales are made up of the same pattern of whole steps and half steps? The easiest way to demonstrate this is with a piano keyboard. We call the distance between adjacent notes a half step. For example, from this white note to this black note is a half step. From this black note to this white note is also a half step. If you go from this white note to this white note, that is a whole step since you have gone two half steps. But what about these white notes? There is no black note between them. That would just be a half step. Okay, let's look at our C major scale from earlier. This note on the piano keyboard is called C. Notice it comes just before the group of two black notes. This note is also a C. Do you notice it also comes before the group of two black notes? The musical alphabet goes in the same order as the regular alphabet, but it only goes to G. After that, we start over again with A. Remember how we identified whole steps and half steps on the piano keyboard? Well, let's take a look at the pattern of whole steps and half steps in the C major scale. Whole step, whole step, half step. Notice how there's no black note between these two. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. This pattern is the same for every major scale, no matter which note you start on. ACD2, I know some people learn best through movement. I was wondering if you could help me create a short dance to remember the pattern of whole steps and half steps in the major scale. What sort of movement could we use to represent the whole step? That's a wonderful idea. So we will use this movement to demonstrate the whole step. 
what movement could we use to represent the half step? I love it! Okay, let's put together the first few movements. We are going to need a whole step, followed by another whole step, followed by a half step. Can you show us what this would look like? That's great! Can you show it to us again? Wonderful! And guess what? You are most of the way there already. The same pattern happens at the beginning and end of the major scale. The only other thing you need is a whole step to connect them. So let's try it. Can we do it again without the pauses? Great job! One more time a little faster. Thank you so much for your help, ACD2.